Hi everyone, this is Naomi Smalls. And Kim Chi. And we are your Makeup, Makeup Girls. M. U. G. G. What does that spell? Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Hi, it's me, James Mansfield from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9. I think you should get your tickets to RuPaul's DragCon on May 11th, 12th, and 13th. I had to remember that. Get your tickets at RuPaul'sDragCon.com or wherever fine tickets are sold or just that website. I'd be there, but I gotta wash my hair that day. I've been in this business for five years now. Oof. And we got some hacks for hags. <laughs> we have some tips that's going to make your makeup life easier. And in a little bit, we're gonna be playing a game, Mismatched Mug. And the first category is mascara. So when your mascara is getting all nasty, dry, and clumpy. I don't use mascara. What a lot of people don't know is when you are using a mascara wand and you go in and you think that like this, <laughs> is making it like <sighs> smoother and easier to grab for the wand. It's actually just adding a lot more oxygen in there, it's, which is creating the mascara to get even more clumpy and bally and not like cute on your lashes. You can actually just stick some Visine in there and it moistens it up and lets that like uh, mascara wand go in and get the product so it's easier to apply to your eyes. So pop a little eye drop in there and you're good to go? Good to go. This trick is great for making your wig look realistic. Let's say um, you want like a flawless fade uh, let's say your like natural hair is black, you can use mascara to create a root where the part is, uh -huh. and you can use it to color the root so it looks like real hair growing out of your scalp. Interesting. I've I, heard of like eyeshadow, but that makes more sense, mascara, because then you can get like the individual strokes. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure if you can use both of them too. Put the mascara on and set it with the eyeshadow and it's not gonna go anywhere. Right. Smart. Next tip will be given by our resident Browfish. You can take a toothbrush and spray it with hairspray to, and then go in and shape your brows and get your like hair to lay flat and smooth. And then you can brush your teeth after. <laughs> All right, next trick is a foundation trick, which will be given by our resident hairy face name. <laughs> <laughs> you're the one that someone said you, they could see your five o'clock shadow. I don't know what you're talking about. So instead of applying like with our beauty blenders or foundation brushes, we can, instead of going up on our us hairy ass men, um, it helps to put your foundation in a downward motion to help lay the peach fuzz down. Well, if you don't have to worry about like the hair sticking on it through the foundation. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And also, if you're having issues with covering your beard, apply Downwards. Some, <laughs> <and> <laughs> apply some orange lipstick or red lipstick before going in with your foundation, Yo. just to counteract that gray. Have you ever contoured your nose with a fork? No, but I've seen it on Instagram, like the weird things that people use to they contour They use like potatoes, with. carrots. A hundred dollar bill. And you know what is actually like a good way to get like a precise line? What? Take like a scotch tape and put it under your eye. So when you're drawing your wingtip, it doesn't matter um, if you go under it. Because um, after the eyeliner dries, if you peel it off, you'll get like a sharp, straight wingtip for your eyes. Gotcha. Miss oh. Fame also suggests using a makeup wipe to wipe away the excess to even it out. And Miss Fame is like really talented. So. If Miss Fame tells you to do something with makeup, you do it. This is like a trick that I like to do. Naomi doesn't like to because she likes her lips pretty matte. If you take any loose eyeshadow or highlighter and apply it on the top of your lip, it'll give your lip a metallic look. So especially like in pictures, it'll look like your lips are nice and glossy, but you don't have to worry about your lips sticking to your hair or like smearing all over the place. Another tip is argan oil. You can stick it in your liquid lipsticks and they do dry out and it's like harder to put them on. Mm -hmm. So if you just get like, if you go to like Whole Foods or Trader Joe's or anywhere that sells like essential oils, um, argan oil, put like a couple pumps in your liquid lipstick, shake it up and go for it. And it's like a whole new lipstick. But with argan oil, you have to be careful. You literally only want to put a drop in and then mix it all up. Because if you add too much, it'll get watery and it won't dry in your lip properly. Exactly. So put like the tiniest drop first, mix it up, and then if you need more, you can always add more. Yeah. All right, so tip to um, applying any type of perfume or cologne is, most people probably notice, but you wanna put it on your neck, right here. Because I've read somewhere that like, that's where like your body generates the most heat and that activates the perfume and cologne. Oh, funny. I, and, I always put it on my neck and my arms and because I feel like that's like so much someone's gonna kiss. <laughs> then you put it in your dick. <laughs> I, I do do like a spray on the butt. <laughs> really? Good for you. Yeah, it's, it's... A lot of you like to use fan brush to apply a highlighter or dust the powder off your face. 
Um, if you lose your fan brush or, or if you left it at home, you can either grab the base of it with your hand or put like a bobby pin on it, like at the end okay. of it, and your powder brush will turn into a fan brush. Yeah. Saves you some money too. Mm -hmm. All right, let's say you want to do a look that was completely monochromatic or matchy-matchy, or if you just really like the color of a certain eyeshadow, you can take like the pigments. If it's a pressed petal, you can break it, turn it into a fine powder, or if it's already a loose shadow, you can take it directly as it is and put it in a clear nail polish and mix it up. Oh, smart, so everything matches. Yeah. Oh, cute. Sounds perfect for Instagram. Right? <laughs> <laughs> a good way to store like our, the nails that we have, because I like wear nail tips, and when you break them off and you want to keep them all together, is use like a pill organizer, oh. like the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Also, if your like, lashes are small enough to fit in there, that's a good way to do it too. For makeup remover, there are several things you can do. Coconut oil from the store really works well. Mm -hmm. Costco, you can buy a huge jar for $7 and just rub it all over your face and it'll hydrate your face while removing all the makeup at the same time. And if you want something that's more like travel friendly, you can get coconut oil spray. Oh, smart. You can get it at like any grocery store, Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, you name it. When I used to do theater when I was younger, they used to give us just baby shampoo because it's no more tears. Oh. So if you get it in your eyes, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It helps take off that like really thick grease paint. And speaking of um, removing paint, Instead of buying a really, really expensive brush cleaner, uh -huh. you can just use dish soap. Right, yeah. So get like a little like saucer full of dish soap, put a couple drops of water, and then like run your brush through it, rinse it off water, and everything will come out. Especially with like your cream brushes, because there's so much oil that seeks into yeah. them. And then like Dawn or whatever dish soap is like perfect for getting out oils. Do you know what is the best way to remove glitter off your face? What? The first one is you take a cheesecloth and you can lightly rub away the glitter. When you're taking off the glitter, you want to make sure it doesn't get in your eye because it could scratch your cornea. Another safe way to do it is you take a duct tape, roll it around your finger, gently dab your face, and it'll pick up every single piece of glitter. That's right. And then it goes slowly at it until the glitter is gone. I normally end up with it all over my face. Because <laughs> I'm so eager to get out of drag. The moment someone says, all right, you're done, I'm like, Poof. yeah. Yeah, she's not careful. But then I, I end up going to the club and I have like, holographic glitter all over my face. Yep. But you know what? YOLO. And, and now, now it's time, time to play Miss Match, Match Mug. We're going to take the eyes, nose, and the lips of RuPaul's Drag Race alumni, compile them together, and guess who they are. Perfect. How do you think you're gonna do? Probably, probably great. Probably great. I think we say this every time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think we know exactly who this is right off the oh, bat. Oh no, kind of three. Let's should it go from like top to bottom? Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Pearl, Pearl Layla, Layla McQueen, Derek, Derek Barry. Barry. <laughs> that frosty lip is definitely Derek. That's so like 90s. Yeah. Like that. Br Brittany. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And then Layla, her signature little heart. And her and then freckles. I mean, this is a kind of a new eye for Pearl. Yeah. This is like her candelabra look. Yep. Pearl's makeup is always evolving, but I've seen this look on Instagram before and I loved it, mm -hmm. so. Survey says. Yay! She's beautiful. Do we get money? Oh, it's alive. <laughs> so the next one is, I know who the middle is. I definitely know who the middle and the last one are. The top one I think might be Ivy Winters. I think it might be Ivy Winters too, but it's also like a really weird, like I never see her with that color's makeup, you know? Yeah. Like, like, I, like the shape is all her, but not the colors, and nor the hair color. So I'm gonna say Ivy Winters, Trinity Taylor, and the bottom one is... Kennedy Davenport. Oh yeah. That's my guess. Ivy, Trinity, Kennedy. Ivinity Davenport. Ivinity Davenport, that's cute. All right, and the survey says... Really, that's Ivy? I'm curious to see like the full photo of that. Yay! Yay! We're doing good today. <laughs> we are doing good. Next, Next up, up, first Milk. Milk. Second. Chi Chi Devane. No, Shay. You think oh, that is Shay, you're absolutely right. That's like real sharp to be Chi Chi. Yeah. <laughs> and then Robbie Turner. Robbie Turner, yep. And the survey says... Yeah? Yay! Yay! We actually had them all right. Yeah. That's never happened. It's like besties for cash, without the cash. Pay up. <laughs> so we learned that you can do anything you want as long as you have the money and the resource here in America. <laughs> the land of dreams. Land of dreams. 